Hi guys, Helen's Armory here, and today I'm going to talk about choosing a primary for your loadouts. I hope this will be a little helpful for people newer to the hobby and also people who are just looking to change up their, uh, their, the way they play a little bit and maybe look to tailor um, their loadout to a little bit more specifics. Now, of course, uh, we often get the question about what's the best, what should, what should I, and I don't want to answer any of those questions because I don't think they're useful. The best is, whatever the best is, is going to change from person to person based on what game type you're playing, what your FPS cap is, is it an HVZ, is it a PvP, are you playing Ion Rush, are you playing Quick Flag, um, what should you, well you should just run whatever you want and have fun. I mean, I know people who have gone to HVZs and run, you know, like modern HVZs with where people like me are running high power flywheelers and there's people with proton packs and yet they're running a jolt and some socks and they survive just as long and have sometimes more fun. So performance isn't always a good measure, measuring stick to go by. That being said, um, I'll stop rambling a little bit and we'll actually talk about some suggestions for how to pick your primary. So the first time you're gonna have to pick what to take to a war is when you're new to the hobby and you don't have much. Of course in that scenario I'm gonna suggest take what you have. Do you have a Maverick from when you were a little kid like me? Um, to, can you run to Goodwill and find you know a couple blasters for cheap? Um, can you run to Walmart and pick something up? I'm here I'm going to encourage something that's cheap, easy to use, and easy to get your hand on. These are things like um, Hammer Prime Blasters, like the new Hammer Storm or the Hammer Shot. I think these are great uh, quick pickups for wars. They're, they really don't require anything else besides maybe some pockets to have in your loadout. Um, especially with things like the Hammerstorm that's got an 8 dart capacity and dart storage in the shell. I think this is a very solid choice just to, if you're you know invited to a Nerf War and you don't have anything, run to Walmart and pick up one or two of these for, I think they're $15 a piece. Um, you're going to have a lot of fun. You're going to run a lot. Um, same thing with if you can still find Hammer Shots or Sweet Revenges at a Walmart maybe or Goodwill. Um, if you're wanting to get into the hobby, I would suggest something like a Hammer Shot or a Sweet Revenge, just because if you do transition to using different things as primaries instead of just running a pistol or two, you can then use these as sidearms easier, whereas it's gonna take a lot of shell cutting and modification to get this to be holsterable. Um, I do plan on doing that to my Hammer Storm um, and if you haven't seen my review on this, I'll put a link in the comment below and try to put a card. I think it's that corner. Um, other great options for starting are things with internal capacity that don't involve removing bits of the blaster. This is a, um, it says super drum on it, but I'm pretty sure it's called the turbo advance. It's a pump action springer with a 40 dart. Um, cylinder on it that's super comfortable and super fun um, this is something I have devious plans for and will mod it and paint it up to look all cool later but uh, while I have it stock I wanted to film this video because personally if I was starting in the hobby and didn't have a primary and was going to a nerf war or an HVZ this is probably what I'd pick up. If I couldn't find a pair of Hammer Prime Blasters, like Hammer Shots, which by the way, two Hammer Shots is a super good loadout. Um, this is probably something I would look for because the only other gear you need is pockets for extra darts or the ground for extra darts. Um, and it gets good performance. Of course, pump action springers are really good. Um, just in general they're reliable they're easy to maintain if they start to get old so in general to wrap this up and to kind of just explain the whole thing if you're new to the hobby pick up something that doesn't require extra bits 
or something small. All right, so the next kind of category of people that might be watching this video are people who have been in the hobby for a bit or have a bunch of Nerf blasters and want to get back into it, but don't know what they should carry, what they should have. And I am planning on doing a, a series about building a loadout, which this is the beginning of, that should work, walk through at least my mindset and how I break down what I carry on my body. This is where I entered the hobby. Um, I played Nerf when I was really young, dropped out of it for a while, and then got into the more prop and cosplay sides of it, and then found mod out modding was a thing and fell in love, and here we are. So I had, so and most of what I had were dart blasters. Um, even now I don't have many rival blasters, I don't have too many half dart blasters, I don't have any vortex or ultra working on that. Um, so most of what I have to show you are going to be dart blasters because that's what I use the most. Um, first of all, again, what you have, the best thing to pick because it's free. You already have it. So if you have things like some full dart magazines and you don't have a blaster that takes them, well maybe go pick up an Alpha Trooper or a Strife or the variants thereof or a Retaliator, something that takes what you already have and makes it useful. Um, of course, this is what I did. I had, in the beginning, I had some gear from when I played Airsoft, like my, uh, my vest and a few uh, M4 mag holsters that could squeeze a 12 round Nerf mag in and I had a couple of those. So I picked up an Alpha Trooper and that was my first loadout was I think an 18 round magazine, three 12 round magazines on a belt and a duct tape holster with my hammer shot running a Alpha Trooper. And let's just say, I think I died in mission four of a six mission game. So worked pretty well. Um, but that was an HVZ, uh, if I did make that clear. So again, if you're kind of moderately into the hobby or trying to get back in, use what you have and find things that will make what you have useful. Of course, if you don't have dart magazines, but you have rival magazines or um, then get a magazine rival fed blaster. Um, I know I just reviewed the finisher, which I think is a fairly decent option. Also, there's, I don't do a lot of rival. I should. So I'm blanking on the names. Uh, picking up things like a Kronos, I, if you like rival, just has an ammo type, I think is a great option or the bolt action, the Jupiter, because again, like with the turbo advance, you don't need extra bits besides pockets. Um, again, I knew a guy, uh, he actually is one best zombie two years in a row at End War. Uh, if you know him, Legolas, great guy, loved playing with him. When he was a human, he just ran a Kronos, I think with K26 and a T-Pole. Um, and he survived pretty long, and it was with a little uh, bum bag with rival rounds in it. That works great. Um, Again, I just want to emphasize, use what you have. Um, of course, if you have the money to jump straight to the e extreme end of this scale, uh, where you just you know, go straight to an FDL or a Caliburn with Talon magazines um, and a new tack vest with you know, all this gear, that's fine too. This video is probably not for you because I really want to talk to people who are new to the hot. I've been rambling on for a little bit, so let's talk to the more experienced aspect of nerfers. So what if you're not necessarily new to the hobby or you already have some stuff? Now my advice is the same. Use what you have. Um, again, if you're getting into the hobby and you're coming from something like Airsoft or Paintball, um, I played Airsoft a while ago and then dropped that out and then picked up Nerf. So I had some tactical gear that could carry Nerf magazines. So I picked up some Elite Dart magazines and started running that. 
If you come from paintball and use or you're using paintball pods and you have some, pick up something like a Percy's or a Nemesis that can take advantage of what you already have and what you're used to because that's going to be the easiest transition for you to make. It's also going to cost the less because you already have it. Um, that being said, in my personal case, I did have some, have some Nerf things left over and also some airsoft gear so I was able to take the handful of uh, elite dart magazines I had and convert my airsoft gear a little to the point where now it's all you know the mag the magazine holder is busted and broken because I messed with it so I could use nerf mags but it works while I needed it to work which is what's important also using things like duct tape and cardboard are great because they're cheap and it's really easy to do um, that's actually the next thing I did after my airsoft gear started to fall apart I used duct tape and cardboard and it worked. Again, with the magazines I already had and then eventually, excuse me, bought some. Um, so, primary choices if you're in this scope. I would suggest something cheaper, like an Alpha Trooper. I'm, I think the Accu Trooper, which is the new one that you can get on shelves, is like 30 to 35 dollars. Which again isn't bad because that's about the same price as um, two hammer storms. Um, also, things like strifes, um, whether they be, you know, modded like this one or stock, um, or any semi-auto flywheel variant, or full auto flywheel for that matter, if you want to go that way, work perfectly well. This is for any ammo type. Um, of course, I have mostly elite dart um, hit compatible gear and magazines and equipment so a lot of my primary choices reflect that and I think if you look through my channel history that's kind of evident I do want to do more things with uh, rival and maybe even some stuff vortex and maybe ultra Ugh. I just don't have as much access to those ammo types at the moment so the topic of this video is primary choices. Again, look at what you have. If you have things like magazines or tactical gear that you like and that you can carry over to this hobby, do it. Find something that works with it. Um, examples of, if you're coming from Airsoft, um, whether you be a AR or an AK user, I was a AR user, a lot of those mag holders will hold um, full dart magazines and maybe oh, half dart magazines depending on your specific um, gear so whatever you have that fits use it coming from paintball I know the paintball pods work with rival rounds really well especially we combine with something like a Percy's or a nemesis or a Prometheus those hopper fed blasters that where you can just dump rounds in the top so those are gonna be my suggestions there Basically pick something you like and that you can afford that's already supported by your gear. If that is something like a Caliburn, by all means, I love the Caliburn. Um, mine's having some problems right now. Uh, recently my foregrip and my scar barrel broke, so it needs a little work. But if this is what your budget is, go for it. Um, if this is what your budget is, go for it you're gonna have just as much fun. Um, and if you don't, you don't, and you try something new. My main uh, suggestion here, and this is probably where I'm gonna leave off on this video, is before you buy anything, look at what you have. And also look at what you want. If you're brand new to the hobby and all you want is a Prometheus, but you can't afford a $200 blaster, maybe look at something older like the nemesis or there was a different company one that was just like the nemesis I'm blanking on the name now where you get a lot of the same functionality but probably for cheaper now that it's a couple years old if you have gear from other hobbies whether it be airsoft or paintball or ro um, live action role-playing whatever it is or hiking I, um, if you watch my uh, loadout video, which I'll link in the description below, I wear hiking and workout clothes because I have 
hiking shorts and pants and workout shirts. Um, pull from what you have before you go off buying things. Now, of course, I say that standing here in front of a table of things that I've bought, but I've been in this hobby for about two years now, and I did start small. Originally, I had a hammer shot and an alpha trooper for about the first year I was in this hobby, and I granted, I didn't get to go to too many wars, but I played in two HVZs and had a blast, and that's what's important, is you go and you have fun, and whatever you use, you use it the way you want, and you have fun. Um, <laughs> I think a great example of this is just one last thing. There was a war, we were playing a new game type, I can't remember what it's called, but basically you had to take MacGuffins and cross a line. And I took a foam sword and a sweet revenge. I think it was a 10 minute round and I never fired my sweet revenge and I only bought people with my sword. And I had so much fun that round. I think that was maybe the most fun I had most of the day. And that was after I put down my fancy tactical gear with my souped up war primary. Actually, I think I was running the Strife most of the day. Put down all my magazines and my holsters and all my fancy stuff and just picked up $15 blaster and a pool noodle on a stick. So, however you play the game, whatever your favorite game is, play it the way you like. Please like and subscribe and thank you so much for watching. Thank you.